everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo and I'm here reviewing the Stock Swoosh 2018 trading room tracking. I own the Stock Swoosh and run the live trading room Monday through Friday. The room usually opens around 8.30 in the morning and we trade between 9.30 and 10, sometimes a little bit later. Uh, just in and out very quickly in gap. So all of these trades are gap trades. It's the only thing that I focus on and most of them actually are shorts. If you would like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com or give me a call at 929-3200-GAP. It's very important if you want to trade the market to empower yourself with the right information. I've done that for myself. I've done that for the people that have come and taken my Golden Gap course. It's really about having the conviction when you take a trade because you must take risks when you take a trade. You won't make money in the market without risking your own money. So you really have to have the right knowledge and you really also have to have something I call conviction, which is an important part of my program. So back at the beginning of the year, year started out. January, there was winners on January 4th, LB. January 5th, BKS was a winner. Then the 8th, Clay was a winner. The 9th, DKS was a loser. Urban was a loser. AYI was a winner. The 10th, SBU was a winner. 11th, no trades, and then the 12th GME was a winner. It, some days there will not be any gaps that meet my criteria, and therefore there will be no trades, and that's okay. I think it's very, very important for people to understand, you know, you get up in the morning and you've got to find something good. You're not going to be able to force a stock to move in the direction you want it to, and some days are busier than others. Right now it's earnings season. Earnings season is a busy time to trade. There's lots of stocks that are moving. Lots of stocks of volatility, lots of stocks that are gapping, you have more picks. Uh, but there are maybe some days during the course of the calendar year where it's better not to trade because you don't want to lose money. And then the end of January ended up very, very strong. Strong week, all winners here. All winners here this week too. You really started off very extremely well. All winners this week too. And then February started out, no trades the first day of the year. SWKS was a winner. CMG was a winner. It was a nice one. TIVA was a loser on the 8th. HBI was a winner. EXP was a loser on the 9th. And EXPE was a winner. Uh, so there was two trades in that. Sometimes I do a retake. That's not all the time, but every once in a while, something will require a retake. Something else I teach in the class. Then next week here in February, uh, there were two losers, three winners. And then into the holiday week here, room was closed the 19th, WMT was a loser, then there was a second retake, there's a winner, and then there was three nice winners to close out that week. Next week then in February, there was a winner in the DF, winner in the SPY, Disney was a nice winner on the 27th, 28th low was a loser, TSO was a loser, and CLG was a winner, MNST was a winner, and Foot Locker was a good winner on March 2nd. Then the next week here in March, winners every day. Then March 12th, no trades. 13th, SPY was a loser and QCOM was a loser. G was a winner. Rest of the week was good, solid. SIG winner, BABA winner, TIP winner. 19th, Facebook was a winner. Oracle was a loser. Facebook was a winner the second day continuation. Love was a winner. TV day off, some days I'm on TV. Although I've started to get help from uh, Gyro, who's been helping me out with the room when I can't do the room for television, which is not that often, but every once in a while. Q's were a loser on the 23rd. WDC was a winner on the 23rd. The next day, the next week, uh, next month in here in April, ALTH was a loser. UA was a winner. No trades in the 3rd and the 4th. TV day off. Slow week. And again, sometimes you have that. And then SPY was a loser and then a winner on the 6th. No trades in the 9th and 10th. SPY was a loser, QQQs were a winner, FAST was a winner on the 11th, BBY was a good one on the 12th, and then the Friday, Z was a loser, WFC, two trades, one loser, one winner. And then WFC continued, failed though on Monday, Netflix big winner on the 17th, IBM big winner on the 18th, PG was a winner, and then the 20th TV day off. 23rd, AKRX was a loser, two losers in that, A was a winner, A continued the next day winner, MMN, two trades in that. Win was a winner. eBay was a good winner that week. T as well on the 27th, no trades. Getting here into the 30th, ARNC was a winner. CMI was a loser. STX was a loser. LO was a winner. SNAP was a winner. CH was a loser. AIG was a winner. And FLR was a winner on May 4th. Then into May in here, TSEM was a loser. CTSH was a winner. 
HTZ was a winner, WMT was a loser, and then in the second trade winner, EXCL was a winner, and no trades on the 11th. 14th, XRX was a winner, VIPS was a loser, PM was a winner, M was a winner on the 16th, love M. Cisco, loser, second trade winner, WFC winner, and then CPB was a winner on the 18th. No trades on the 21st, Toll was a winner. 23rd target was two losers and then one winner. That was a tough one. AGNC was a loser, BBY was a winner. And then 25th Foot Locker, two winners. It was a really nice one. Moral Day Off for a little bit over a week. Uh, NKTR was a winner. 6-5 CCO was a loser. Starbucks, winner. AMBA, winner. SJM, loser. And LRCX, huge winner. It was, a, it was a decent start to the month of June. SPY was a loser on the 8th. Day off, no trades. HRB loser, T winner, Oracle was a winner. Getting here then into June, SPY was a winner, no trades on the 18th. And then again, a retake on the SPY on the 19th. One failed, one worked. Starbucks, really nice one on the 20th. 21st, AOBC was a loser, WMT was a loser, Starbucks was a winner. 622, Red Hat loser, retake winner. CCO winner, 626, no trades. CAG was a winner. WBA, one loser one, and one winner. It's interesting because many, many times I will. I will just stick on top of something and they work. It's just, it's just really interesting. When I when I pick something and I rate it and it rates well per my Golden Gap system, I'm telling you, it's so so rare that it ever fails. But you know, we're looking at trading on the one minute chart, so we have to determine our our entry and our stop and our sizing. You know, you can't just take a trade and not put a stop in. But if I could do that, I I almost never lose, <laughs> unless the gap actually lo lost, and that was it's rare. But, you know, just looking at the setups and the trades, that's what I'm showing you here in the tracking because we do use stops. Then uh, off for the week for July 4th, PET was a winner, SPY was a loser, SPY was a winner, LB was a winner, and WFC was a winner. So 143 trade calls this year in the room, 2018, only 42 losers, that's really good. 101 winners half the way through the year. Win ratio for the year to date, 71%. So obviously, what does that mean? It means you're up. Um, if you've been in the room with me, you are positive. So that's a really good win ratio. It means what? For every 10 trades, you have to figure seven will be winners and three will be losers. And my win ratio will vary. Sometimes it's over 75%, sometimes it's 80%. It just depends on whatever given period we're in. We're starting the earnings season now, so there's gonna be a lot of things to do. My win ratio for July is probably gonna be up for July and August. This is just the name of the game when you're trading, but you know, you should figure 10 trades, seven winners, three losers, and that's how you make money in the market. You have to have a high win ratio system to succeed, to make money consistently, all right? So I teach a class on my method if you wanna learn. It's next weekend, July 21st and 22nd. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. The class is online, you can be anywhere in the world and take it. 9 to 5 Eastern Time, cost of the class is $54.99. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you would like to sign up. A uh, few people have signed up already, and uh, I usually do classes once every four to six weeks, depending on my schedule, depending on my schedule with television right now. Um, it's been very busy, so uh, if you're interested in talking to me, if you want to speak to me, my suggestion is reach out, leave me a message, email me if you want to speak, and when I have time, I'll try to get back to you. I usually try to return people's calls within 24 hours or emails as well. Hope everyone has a great solid earning season. And if you'd like to sign up for the class, you want to join the room, you have to take the class to join the room, but you get all these calls and it's been a strong year. So looking forward to the rest of 2018 with everybody that's a student. And if you'd like to join the group, email me and you can sign up for next weekend.